This presentation will cover a broad spectrum of issues affecting individuals of all ages related to social impairments. Some of these topics discussed in the presentation will be congruent with information that has been pre presented previously in other course presentations, as many of the challenges that will be discussed may present in several medical and human settings. The extraordinary circumstances these individuals face often result in social disadvantages, such as inadequacies in meeting basic needs, poor lifestyle choices, intensified life stressors, and behavioral issues. In general, they are often misunderstood, disempowered, and marginalized from society. Relational Problems, Abuse, and Neglect addresses the issues that impact children and adults who are caught in the cycle of violence. Violence affects people worldwide and does not discriminate. Violence can range from intimate partner violence to child abuse and workplace violence to general bullying. Experiencing childhood violence can have ramifications like mental health disorders and lifelong issues. Abuse is the act of inflicting injury to include any form of physical, emotional, psychological, or sexual abuse, while neglect is the failure to act on behalf of the individual. Maltreated children are at risk for developing several problems, such as emotional dysregulation, delinquent behaviors, poor relationship skills, depression, suicide, eating disorders, and substance use. There are multiple factors that contribute to child abuse and neglect, and there is rarely one specific cause to the behavior. Domestic violence, otherwise known as adult maltreatment, is defined as an assault within the home in which one spouse is assaulted by the other. Males are more likely to be the perpetrators, and the typical profile include immaturity, dependency, and non assertive characteristics with displayed feelings of inadequacy. Bullying behaviors help to humiliate the partner and bolster the perpetrator's low self-esteem. Intimate partner violence can result in physical harm, psychological trauma, and even death. The devastating consequences of domestic violence can cross generations and last a lifetime. Bullying occurs when one knowingly abuses the rights of others to gain control of the situation and the individuals involved by deliberately using intimidation and manipulation behaviors. Today, bullying surpasses the classroom and playground. It is more aggressive and prevalent due to the ease of technology. Children who experience bullying often display low self-esteem, poor grades, depression, and even suicidal thoughts, while adult victims may complain of somatic symptoms such as stomach aches, shortness of breath, muscle aches, insomnia, and fatigue. Recreational therapists will need to take the individual and their specific needs into consideration when planning programming. Interventions could include creative arts, expressive arts, journaling, bibliotherapy, leisure education, and nature-based programming. It is important to consider the individual's social skills and family needs. This issue impacts the entire family, and incorporating family into the treatment process may be appropriate. Poverty continues to be a pervasive worldwide problem. Homelessness is the most extreme manifestation of poverty, and poverty is the most powerful predictor of the occurrence of homelessness. Homelessness is defined as lacking in fixed, regular, and adequate nighttime residency. Often people think of the visible homeless, such as those living on the street or in shelters, but there are also hidden homelessness, such as those living on a friend's couch or in their cars. Homeless youth are at higher risk for physical abuse, sexual exploitation, and mental health issues. The most common factor contributing to homelessness is lack of affordable housing, domestic violence, drug addiction, economic issues, and employment challenges. Individuals facing poverty and homelessness often experience depression, hopelessness, loss of confidence, and frustration. 
Recreational therapists will want to help address the individual's social and emotional well-being. For homeless families, interventions might focus on healthy interactions, positive family experiences, and leisure skill development. In general, interventions associated with leisure education, bibliotherapy, stress management, and community resource awareness. Individuals with identity concerns can also be impacted by poverty, homelessness, abuse, and substance abuse issues. The textbook uses LGBT to refer to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. However, there are more inclusive versions such as LGBTQ and LGBTQIA+. When working with this population, it is imperative to be familiar with the most current politically correct acronym, as the terminology is evolving to be more inclusive. Social stigma continues to impact this population. Although public attitudes towards the LGBT community continues to improve, individuals who identify as LGBT can face health disparities, social discrimination, oppression, and even denial of basic human rights. Due to the sensitive nature associated with identity, it is important for the recreational therapist to ensure the setting and experiences are psychologically safe, supporting, and empowering. RT professionals will want to provide and promote identity-affirming experiences with acceptance. Interventions might include leisure education, creative arts, expressive arts, anger management, assertiveness training, and physical activity. Trauma in social environments refers to individuals who have been impacted by natural disasters and geographical turmoil. This can range from terrorism to hurricanes. A refugee is a person that was forced to flee his or her country due to fear of persecution while an immigrant is a person that makes a choice when to leave his or her country. Natural disasters can strike anywhere, and the impact can have immediate effects such as death and long-term effects such as poverty, domestic violence, and trauma-related disorders. Survivors may start to experience depression, anxiety, and sleep discrepancies. In addition, individuals might experience somatic complaints, such as headaches, stomach aches, and changes in appetite. Trauma can have a lasting impact on one's thinking, feelings, and behaviors long after the event. Recreational therapists will want to design programs that help individuals learn to manage stress, heal the wounds associated with the trauma, and promote recovery. RT interventions could include leisure education, community reintegration, relaxation skills, physical exercise, and assertiveness training. Patterns of behavior that deviate from cultural norms and threaten the welfare of others are labeled as delinquent when referring to an individual under the age of 18, while adults who demonstrate these same behaviors are referred to as criminal. Delinquency and criminal behaviors are multi-dimensional issues associated with complex interactions between the offender's traits and environmental influences. Participation in gangs can offer a venue for friendship and family-like supports. Offenders tend to have trouble managing daily living tasks and interpersonal relationships. Issues include poor judgment, low motivation, participation in deviant leisure, substance use, and poor physical health. People who have been incarcerated experience a phenomenon like those experienced by social trauma. They are often stigmatized by society, devalued as a person, and dependent on institutions. Recreational therapists attempt to help incarcerated offenders to learn appropriate coping skills, encourage recovery, and to reduce the risk of repeating criminal behaviors, focusing on problem-solving skills, positive leisure choices, and decision-making skills. Interventions include physical exercise, leisure education, stress management, yoga, anger management, expressive arts, and conflict resolution.